Hello, and welcome to a brief fly through of our four through five um, intermediate build. Um, it's very similar to all the builds in the worlds that we have, um, but with this specific build, students are limited to just the intermediate area of the park. As we designed our park, we wanted to make sure that students had access to specific areas that they were focusing on based on their curriculum and not access to the entire park so that way they wouldn't accidentally build in the wrong place. So as you come to our park, you'll see that there are roads surrounding it so students get some spatial awareness that this is Parker's Mill. Um, and then over there is New Circle Road. Um, you'll also see the towers, the electrical, all the things um, Ashley, who is our world creator, uh, put in to try to make it as real as possible, even some of the um, abandoned houses and stuff like that that are in the area. So as students come into the world, here they're going to meet Monica. And so as they meet Monica, Monica is standing next to these beacons. And these beacons are all over the park and they help guide students through specific areas and information. Um, and so as I talk to, oh, I'm world builder right now. Let me change my settings real fast. Um, as I'm going through, I can watch her video um, and she welcomes the students to the park. If I just click watch, then of course it takes her to the video that we created um, for her or that she helped us create for this specific build. The idea with having these NPCs throughout the park and making the videos, which we very much appreciate Parks and Rec for doing so, is to allow students um, to interact within the world that we've created for them and complete the challenge with additional resources. And those videos were those additional resources. Um, so it also gives you a big board here for things to be thinking about if I'm building in this specific area. And I'm gonna do a flyover real fast. to show you. So we have the uh, bordering neighborhood to the left. Uh, we just put a few houses there so that way students could kind of spatially see that. Uh, we also tried to build it out to match um, the aerial photos. So if there were trees um, outlining some of the areas, we put trees there so students would have to think about that. Um, if there was an open in space where that's where the soybeans were uh, we kind of left those as the farmland um, but again so we have these different characters that we can interact with so, and, and all these are um, parks personnel One of the cool things that we had the parks volunteer was not just give kids important information, but also share about their jobs, their profession, um, what their job title was, as we also, with this activity, want to encourage kids to be thinking about um, careers that are associated with building a park and all the people that go into it when it comes to um, the city. So I'm going to do another flyover. Um, these, again, red blocks are the barrier blocks that I mentioned that you're not able to um, travel through. So again, I'm trying to go forward and I can't. Um, so I'm going to change my settings here. So I can bypass. We even put in the barn. So you can see that there's the barn here. We actually went on an adventure. Um, as we were mapping this all out with Curtis and with Paul. And so again, they even have their own videos. And yes, we put in the video of Watch Our Real Adventure Exploring the Barn. So again, within these videos, we want students to um, have an understanding of not just what is there, uh, but also what could possibly be used in their builds or um, 
reused instead of just tossing it or throwing it away. And so that was a cool way for us to uh, be able to do that. And then we, Ashley, um, built the barn as best as possible, even putting in some of the tobacco sticks and talking about that resource that's available. So as I continue to go on, you see there are some other places that we could go. The, the borders, um, some of the specific park project goals of, um, you know, you're next to a road, be thinking about this to buffer the noise. You, we, you can watch the video of us actually going um, and recording the noise uh, directly from where this is to the road. Over here is where we did the first topography. So um, we have a video with Brian talking about that. Um, we have our sign here that talks about being cautious of what you can and cannot build here. Um, and then we've actually put in, in this area, um, underground streams um, within here for students to be aware of. So that way they would have to build around those um, or think about those when they're either building or not building in this area. As I go up, you'll see the park is very extensive. Um, Ashley tried to build it as close to possible um, to the dimensions that the park actually is. So again, students are, are really building as much to scale as possible. And it's been going great. Kids are loving it. It's been a very fun project, one of hopefully several that we will participate in with our Parks and Rec Department um, as we work on uh, just building really cool structures in Lexington and around Lexington um, and our students learning all of the parts, the jobs, the educational side of, of math, um, science and social studies, uh, technology, everything that would go into building a park and really being a part of that process. So yeah, so here's the park. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our little fly through.